Hello, 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 and welcome to Headshot. My name is Metro, and I have a special guest here that will be directing our attention today. Before we continue, let's explain Headshot. Headshot is a weekly podcast theme show where we will be scoping in on key members of the Repulse community. Again, our guest for today is Not Short, who also happens to be a part of RWNC. The two of us are hosts on the Sat Pro Show, so please go check that out as well. Anyways, I've talked enough. Let's scope in on Not Short and find out all about him. Let's get the basics over with. What is your journey with Repulse? What got you into playing Repulse IO in the first place? Uh, what really got me into playing Repulse was um, my friend, my in real life friend, of course, uh, went up to me one day and just told me about the game. And it was really interesting because he played on Pokey, the website Pokey.com, which I now know was one of the major sponsorships that helped put Repulse on the map in the US. Uh, I'm American, of course, and that's what really got into it, is an in-real-life recommendation from a friend. It's really interesting how word of mouth can help promote games. As a popular member in the community these days, what would you say defines you? What makes you well-known? I would say what makes me well-known is the, f- the fact that, first of all, I, t- I talk in some of my videos, which is pretty rare here, and also, in my opinion, Blender thumbnails help put you on the map, really, on a pulse, because they take a lot of effort hours of time to compose. And another thing that I would say I'm known for, my montages, of course. I am one of the best players in the US right now. And I think I really helped get a lot of people into the game and I'm proud of that. Who would you say is the best Repulse player? Funora, 100%. When I first played the game, I remember seeing another player named a French player tell me uh, when I first played my first hardcore match about how good Funora was. And up until that day, I was waiting to try and see if I can see him in game. And once I saw him in game, he won, and I was at one kill. So that really uh, cemented my brain how good he was. And to this day, he still easily beats me in 1v1s and stuff. He can trick shot me, do all of that, undisputed. Who would you say is the most influential player? I would say the most influential player of all time is, is probably Carico, because he really helped set up the community in more of a refined manner. He started uh, organizing content creators. He g- gave people tips about content creation. He helped with Blender, which is really important and one of the major skills that all the content creators really have in common is Blender knowledge and knowledge of the YouTube algorithm along with the knowledge of Blender and along with starting RWNC. His connection to DocsD2 is really amazing and helps us stay in touch with the developer. And also just his consistent uploads, of course, and his high quality thumbnails, high quality videos. It's really like a studio production level quality over here in this game, which is something I I definitely lack with my super inconsistent uploads and a lot of others, no offense, but we're not very consistent here. Yeah. If you could add or remove something from the game, what would it be? If I could add something to the game, it would probably be, ooh, this is such a tough question. I would add cr- custom crosshairs. This sounds like really insignificant, but this is the, like one of the first things I added to the in Discord server. There's a channel about game suggestions. Custom crosshairs was one of the first suggestions that I really like thought out in my head and planned. So that's the one thing I would add. And the one thing I would remove probably grenade launcher just because it gets really annoying at control point. It isn't for some reason it isn't uh, locked or whatever. What is the best knife you ever recorded? Best night ever recorded was when I was playing a lobby with Funara and uh, another player, which was also around the skill level, and I ended up winning 15 kills to 11 kills. And I impulsed up and uh, sniped Funara in the air with my sniper in shoddy snipes and won. Yeah, that was probably my best. Are you ready for the highly anticipated changes Repulse will be receiving in the upcoming days and or years? Honestly, maybe not because I've gotten so used to this current meta that I don't know how I would fare in the new meta, but it's definitely been interesting seeing like the sword and the bolt rifle in the videos that Doxy was scared and how they're going to switch up the meta. It's been, Doxy was asked about the bolt rifle and it said it, it could do pretty comparable damage to the main sniper rifle and it can be in your loadout. And also shotgun players versus sniper players now, which it could be a major dilemma. Do you think Repulse is going to make it big one day? I definitely think it will. If you look at other .io games, they don't have this much uh, quality and also the quality of UIs and also just the spirit of the game. Other .io games are like difficult to 
understand, kind of difficult to chat. I think Repulse could be as big as Crunker if you didn't have, uh, if Repulse had a little bit more advertising, I think it'd easily be as big as Crunker was back in 2020 and 2021. Do you have any like new players do you think that will be better than you in the near future? Uh, I would say you and Metro will probably be better than me in the near future since I kind of took a short break for mental health and started talking to real people. And I would say maybe Telly, who's also in Zen, because he was better than me on his like second day playing because uh, Fu found him somewhere. Apparently he was a competitive player for a different FPS game. Basically anyone who has a lot of experience in our FPS, uh, FPS games would be better than me. Thanks for coming out on the show, Not Short. This ends today's Headshot broadcast. I've been your host, Metro, and our Headshot team consists of Karakel, who does camera work, Dr. Diamonds, who is our videographer, Astral Dreamer 20, who is our supervisor, and Sniper Tote, who is on communications. If you would like to be interviewed, please contact him on Discord. Thanks to all of our viewers who make this broadcasting team possible. If you would like us to interview someone else, please leave it in the comments. We'll see you next time on the Repulse Weather and News Channel.